Tell us the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama Hot Cut Chief and I in my cap had just settled their brains for a long winter nap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the slash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave leisure of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sled and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lovely, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles on his cursor they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Nam Dasher, Nam Dancer, Nam Princeton and Vixen, O Comet, O Cupid, O Donna and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Nam Dash away, Dash away, Dash away all. As drive leaves that before the wind hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the curses they flew, with the sled for toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prince and the pollen of each little hoof. As I drew my in my head and was turning the ramp down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bell. He was dressed in all fur, from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of tours he had flung on his back, and he looked like a parlor just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drew little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of, the, of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he the smoke in a circle, his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, I write all jolly elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A rank of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprung to his lead, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew all light down to the drizzle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and all our good night. Thank you, and Merry Christmas.